Hi, my name is Rishik Gandasri. I'm 15 years old and I've been a competitive speller since I was seven years old. In 2019, I was dubbed one of eight Octochamps at the Scripps National Spelling Bee, which means that I, along with seven other spellers, won the bee that year. Today, I'm going to share a few tips on how you can improve your vocabulary and spelling skills through different techniques that I've used throughout my career as a competitive speller. My first tip is to read as much as you can and be a word detective while reading. And just read anything from fiction books to magazines to even the menu at the restaurant you're eating at. The whole idea is you're looking for words everywhere you can in your life. So for example, if you're going to the grocery store, you can go to the wine aisle, the cheese aisle, the pasta aisle, and just learn all these words in context. And the context is really important for learning the spelling and definition and eventually using those words. For example, I got the word cachocavallo in a spelling bee before. It's spelled C-A-C-I-O. C-A-V-A-L-L-O, and it's a kind of cheese, so this one I learned in the cheese aisle. My second tip is to start with learning Greek and Latin roots. 60% of the English language is made up of words that have either a Greek or a Latin root, so it's super important to start with these. And then from there, you can move on to learning roots from other languages. A perfect example of this was uh, came up in the 2019 B for me. The word was kelidroid, and I didn't know the word at first, but when I asked for the definition, I realized this word had the root kelly, C-H-E-L-Y, meaning turtle. So I was able to figure out the spelling, C-H-E-L-Y-D-R-O-I-D, and move on to the next round. My final tip is to figure out a trick that helps you learn the definition rather than memorize it. For example, what I did was look up the pictures of a word, and that would help me have an idea that I could link to the definition. And this really worked for me because I'm a visual learner, but people learn in different ways, so there's other tricks you can use. For example, you can look up or even make sentences with the word in question, and this will help you have context for the definition and even spelling. And next up are some amazing tips from my fellow Octochamps, so I'll hand it off to them. You mainly study for the spelling bee by looking at language patterns, roots, and word lists. But whenever you don't know a word or you're not sure about a word, that's when really the language patterns and roots come into play. Just exploring the different um, etymologies behind the words and the different roots that make up each word is definitely more important. Yeah, I definitely agree with everything else that um, everyone said so far. And for me, like I would enjoy like dictionary diving, like using the Merriam-Webster search tool. Reading the newspaper or reading magazines. And personally, I'd pick out a section. Um, my favorite section was the sports section and I'd read that and always look for new words. I think getting quizzed by my family, the one, if some of them had time, they would quiz me and that really helped since it kind of emulated me spelling the words out loud. In Words With Friends, since you're given the definition, um, it's definitely a great tool that you can use as a speller to latch on to that word and really internalize it. And that's it. Comment below with any memorization tips you might find helpful and hit the subscribe button for more helpful tips and tricks.